Hello guys, so in last week's video you seen me install the four motors on the rear of this model and then completely make a mess of the model by seemingly blowing up my little control board here. Now I was going to have to replace it anyway because the brown edge problem that I had with the uh, Subaru was also on this board since I had um, programmed this one uh, before the Subaru. So I would have had to make a new board anyway, but still it's kind of annoying that I, uh, I managed to damage this board. And I'm still not even sure why I did or how I done it. So in this video anyway, I'm going to create another one of these boards. And we're going to try and test or wire it up here. Get all our motors working in sync with our um, differential effect on all six drive motors. And then we'll fill the back of the trailer here up with gravel and see can it climb out of my little quarry section on my diorama. I think it will. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more than enough power. So let's just... Uh, switch out the board first of all and see what happens here is the new board now I've uh, programmed this one with the brownout timer uh, disabled so it won't go off uh, when the voltage drops too low so that's alright uh, I have a charged battery here one of these is charged up so that's no problem so if we take a look at our two exposed axles here on our front wheel we will have control of them so hopefully on camera you can see they're all moving there in sync and if I turn the steering wheel turn it left our left hand wheels are slowing down and if I turn it right our right hand wheels are slowing down the left stone so our differential effect is working fine there I have two sets of three motors on each side uh, wired in parallel so the motor driver uh, each channel of the motor driver is driving three motors at the minute so that might be a bit too much for them we'll see how it goes when we have an actual load on the on the uh, truck here so the next thing I need to do is get the other four wheels and modify them the same way I did the front wheels okay so now I have all six motors on I have the six wheels on and everything is wired up to a single motor driver so let's just check out what our maneuverability is like Well, it doesn't seem too bad. Has the power to pull itself up the, the ramp uh, with no load, so that's a good start. So maybe now we'll uh, load some gravel in and see if it can climb it with a load. Okay, this is kind of a half full load, so let's see what this is like. Uh, coming from the corner here we are slowing down the motors on the right hand side of the model so that might cause it to struggle slightly we'll take it nice and handy and see how it goes oh, caught in the wall so it looks like we're kind of back to two wheel drive the wheels at the back are spinning and the wheels at the front are clearly all the weight is off them because of the load in the back of the back of the truck so we might need a bit of a run to get up this so let's give it a bit of speed hopefully we won't hit the walls So it looks like we have uh, don't have enough power in the two motors to pull the whole truck up on its own. So the the ramp is a little bit too steep. So let's spin the truck around and see can it reverse up it. So in reverse when we had 
uh, four motors pushing because the two motors here all the weight is on those motors and because we were reversing up the weight would have been pushing down on the uh, two motors at the front as well so we were able to get up that time but um, looks like the steering servo was struggling a little there it's just not able to, to push the model around for some reason so I'm gonna have to take another look at the steering servo at the minute this ramp is probably a bit steeper than I would normally be using anyway because uh, normally I have this area filled with gravel so really what I want this truck to do is drive on uh, the flat surface I don't really need it to climb this hill but it would be ideal if we could get enough power to the motors to climb the hill so one thing I'm wondering is when the other motors come off the the ground here and they start to spin is a lot of the power going to those motors rather than the drive motors and if I had individual motor drivers on each pair of motors would I then be able to deliver kind of equal power to each pair of motors so that may be something we'll try in the next video maybe I'll put individual motor drivers on each pair of wheels now the all, all the controls will be wired in series so every uh, PWM pin on the left will be wired together and every directional pin on the left will be wired together and the same on the right so we'll still only need the same amount of control pins on the Arduino but we'll have an individual motor driver on each motor maybe that will help things a little but just out of interest let's load it up with the full load and see what happens then and by the way just in case you're thinking that the load is really light and the truck is really underpowered that's actual gravel it's not uh, it's not some sort of fake gravel or anything it's not really light that first load was 1.3 kilos and we now have 1.8 kilos in the truck including the weight of the truck so the 1.3 was the truck plus the load the, now the 1.8 is the truck plus the load so let's see if we can even pull this on the flat I can see the pair of wheels that uh, are coming off the ground in the middle of the truck they are just kind of freewheeling there so we clearly don't have enough power in just the two wheels to climb this hill I'll spin the truck around and see if it will reverse up ok we're going to try and reverse up now We just can't pull up that last little bit of the ramp there. So it's clearly at the minute anyway not able to pull up 1.8 kilos. But that's quite a lot for a model. Uh, I don't think any of the other uh, tractors would be able to pull it. Just out of interest I'll get a chain and see if any of the other tractors could have uh, pulled the model up. Okay well I decided I'd split this up into two videos. So in the next video I'm going to pull up this... Um, truck using some of my other vehicles well I assume I'm going to be able to pull them up with some of my other vehicles I'll give them a best shot but uh, maybe 1.8 kilos is just too much of a load to be trying to pull up this hill so if you want to see that video make sure and tune in next week and if you have any comments or suggestions let me know below the video or head on over to the forum and uh, I think that's pretty much everything so thanks very much for watching mm -hmm.